Yes, we're having lentils. Yes, we're having lentils. Hello, everyone. We haven't got a video. That's why we're doing a video on lentils. Hopefully, I'm going to do like a lentil veggie soup. Stick around. Let's have some fun. All right, my name is Tupperware Pete. How are you? Let me know where you're watching from. And just, just say him. Oh, that meant my noise maker's not making much noise. <laughs> we'll have to do it for it. We'll have to make the noise for it. <laughs> That's better. Happy birthday, Tupperware. <laughs> How are you? I'm going to be making <coughs> a lentil soup. Well, it's like a lentil curry soup, something like that, in the microwave. Tupperware pressure cooker, all right? This acts with the efficiency of a microwave, but all the health benefits of pressure cooking your food and uh, the taste results of as if it was in a slow cooker, right? Now, you know those times, like, I've had one of those days today. I've been rushing around everywhere, and I came home and went, oh, my goodness, I have to do my video. What am I going to do? And I'll just do a one-pot wonder in the um, Tupperware pressure cooker. This, instead of putting your slow cooker on for eight hours, this will do it in 20 to 30 minutes, all right? And so all I'm going to do is, like, a lentil curry, right? So what I've got in here... I've got a sweet potato that I've, I've just, like a half of a sweet potato that I've just diced up, right? Stick that straight into there. Hopefully, we'll keep all the pieces into here, all right? I've got, remember that I made um, homemade stock in my Tupperware pressure cooker a few weeks ago? I've got that in the Tupperware freezer containers. It's still rock solid, but that's okay. You just plop that straight out of there, right? There's our chicken stock. Because what I did was I cooked a chook in here. It only took 30 minutes, right, from raw. And the meat was falling off the bone. And then after, at the end of the week, I thought, what am I going to do with this chicken carcass? I popped it back into here with some herbs and spices, about two or one litre of liquid. And I made my own homemade stock, right? So we'll just pop that straight into there. Then we're going to do a tin of tomatoes. The Tupperware can opener is the last can opener you will ever purchase, let me tell you. This part here never touches any food, so there's no need to dunk it into the sink. If you want to, you can just wipe off the handle where you've had your hands, but it doesn't come in contact with any food, right? Open up the arms. You hook that over the rim, and you know you've got it on because you can lift the whole thing up in a clockwise direction, whether you're right-handed or whether you're left-handed, just turn it in a clockwise direction until you've done a full 360 and you'll feel the tension ease a little. Sometimes you'll hear a click. Some people recommend to go back a quarter of a turn to release it. I never bother, I just undo the arms and then I just grab this little beak I hook that over the rim, one hand on the can and the other... <laughs> Maybe I should have bothered. All right, let's take two. It's take two, baby. Oh, what are we doing? Why is, what's going on here? <laughs> it's Now it's not even turning around. Turn around every... Here we go. Every now and then I get a little bit healthy. I feel like lentil soup. Hey, did you hear that click? Right, so let's just see if this works. One hand on the can, there we go. Now, can you see here, this never touches any food. So there's no need to ever dunk it into the sink. This does not like water, right? So that's the reason why you don't pop it in the sink. You just go over to the arms, uh, over to the arms, over to the bin, release the arms, and that, no sharp edges. <laughs> it's absolutely delicious and exactly the same with here. No sharp edges on this one, hi. Huh? So we're just going to, that's just a tin of um, whole peeled tomatoes. Now, most people will say to me, what about the ring pull, Peter? It's just got a ring pull. In a case like this, where the ring pull is, I can try and take that out, but the ring pull's all skew if, and the ring pull still leaves a really sharp edge. So all you have to do is just turn this around. It'll go straight over the ring pull. I don't want any sharp edges in my bin because if I forget the recipe of something and I've thrown it out, I want to go bin diving, don't I? And I want the bin to be safe, right? So we just undo that. There we go. And that is the easiest can opener. That will, if you never wash it, that will be the last can opener you ever purchase, all right? So what we'll do is we will just grab our Tupperware spatula. Spa oh, that one's not working. Let's grab this one. <laughs> I've got hooks everywhere. All right. This is our light coconut cream. There we go. We've got that, and we'll do that out the way there. Then what we've got in here is we've got some... Um, I am going to cheat just a little bit. Let's wipe this mess down. I am going to cheat just a little bit. I've got some green curry paste, 
And just let me grab a teaspoon, if I can, and we will, oh, I could have, I'm just gonna throw in the lot. That's about two teaspoons, well, it's about three teaspoons. Do it to your heart's content, right? This is one of those recipes, it's like, what have we got? Well, we don't have any food. We only have ingredients to make food. Oh, I don't want to do that. The Tupperware pressure cooker really does make life very easy in the kitchen, right? So that's just the last little bit of green curry paste. Then what we're going to do is, no need to ask, it's a smooth chopperator. It is a smooth... What's my hat doing? <laughs> All right, we are not going to use the paddle whisk because we're not whipping cream up tonight. What we're going to do is grab the one with the blade attachment, and that just pops straight into there. All we're going to do is, I've got a carrot. I'm just gonna break that, I'm not peeling it. I'm not getting rid of that end bit. Who's got time for that, right? Pop that straight into there. I've got a chili. I am just going to, let's move this out of the way. I am just going to chop that into chunks, and we'll pop that straight into there. I've got an onion, and we're just going to Chop this into, we're going to quarter it and eighth it and all that, whatever you do there. I'm just going to add this into my curry paste. So that's onion, chilli, carrot. I do have half a green capsicum, so waste not, want not, right? This here, have you seen this before? This is the Tupperware chop collector. So all you have to do is, I've got scraps in here that I never took out last night, but, you know, you just seal it, and in this weather, that's going to be fine, right? So what we're going to do is we're just going to, Grab the inside of that. We'll pop that straight into there. We will, it's, I think it's time to put that into the bin this evening. <laughs> this is the chop collector or the scrap collector. There are holes in the bottom that you can pop out and that's what I've got my spring onions growing in out the back, right? So when people say, do you have any pets? You can go, no, I've got some spring onions out the back though. Does that count? <laughs> All right, this is our capsicum. Let's just chop half of that capsicum up into there and we will just throw that straight into there, right? Now, all we're going to do is, Oh, look, I found some um, garlic. Remember that recipe that I did? I did half the garlic and I had some left over. I thought, I'm not going to throw this away. I'm going to save this for another recipe. That's been in my fridge for about two weeks. There's still nothing wrong with it. So we are going to grab our Tupperware Mastro knife. And we will just crush that up. There we go. Crush that up. And we will just, hopefully, those bits. Oh, what are we doing? That's got skin on it. That's got, we will just pop those bits straight out. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I should have thought this through before I started doing the video, shouldn't I? <laughs> but that's okay. We've just got half of, half of this and half of that. We've got a little bit, just a little bit of this and a little bit of that. All right. I've been doing Tupperware almost 30 years. And let me just tell you, when you've got the right tools in the kitchen, cooking not only becomes easy, but it becomes so much healthier for you when you've got the right tools in the kitchen, right? So we'll just throw in a few of those. And then with an online business account in Tupperware, you actually claim the discount and you can shop whenever you like. It's fantastic, right? Okay, let's just, we've got some of this garlic. Let's pop that straight into there and we'll move that straight into the chop collector. All those little bits are gone. Then what we've got is, let's grab the top. So can you see here, look, onion, Garlic, capsicum, we've got a carrot and a chilli. I think that's everything else, isn't it? And there is a fill line, so please respect the fill line and the, the product will respect you, I can guarantee you, right? We're just gonna do this. Oh, look, we've got garlic there. We just pull the cord. The calories fall off you. <laughs> there we go. And you can get a good cardiovascular workout happening in the privacy of your own home. <laughs> All right. There we go. How terrific is that? Upside down, Miss Jane. There we've got our blitzed veggies, right? And we've had a bit of fun doing it, right? We've got our heart rate up. <laughs> there are all of our veggies. We will pop that straight into here. Grab our Tupperware spatula. There we go. We'll get rid of all of that. The rest of our veggies, straight into there. Yum, 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 yum. We've got that over there. We'll just move that around the side. And basically, with the Tupperware pressure cooker, there is, let me show you, there is, there's a, I don't know if you can see this here, there's a, a maximum line and a minimum line. You just get the food in between the two. When I'm having a cooking day, as you can see, I do have one, 
two, two pressure cookers. One, two. It makes cooking so much easier and it makes it a little bit of fun as well. So we've got that into there. Then what we're going to do is we're going to fill the rest up with water. Just up to the fill line. Yeah. And I'm going to throw in my red lentils. I'm just going to throw in half a cup of red lentils just for that extra little protein. And we're going to have a meatless Monday. Oh, even though it's Wednesday. <laughs> all right, we'll just throw in that all the way around. And then we add in some spices because we can, right? So what we'll do is we'll add in some spices. Whether you've got the, sm the large spice container, this is a little bit of sweet paprika. Let's throw in a couple of te teaspoons of that. Whether you've got the large spice containers or whether you've got the small spice containers, they both have the scoop and the sprinkle. All right, so this is ground coriander. Let's do a little bit of that over the top there. If you buy larger quantities of, of spice, this is my turmeric. Grab the tab, grab the tab, peel the seal. There's your turmeric. So again, you can measure up with love. I like a bit of turmeric, so we're going to do a couple of teaspoons of ground turmeric, and we're going to seal that. And if you buy spice in a proper bulk, like I do, ground cumin, come in. <laughs> grab the tab, grab the tab, peel the seal. And sometimes, obviously like tonight, <laughs> I keep my little teaspoon. I keep my teaspoon with my ground cumin. All right, we're going to throw that in. I like ground cumin, so we're going to throw a lot of that into there. And, oh, you should smell that. It smells divine. Actually, that reminds me, the smell stays in the container because it's a non-porous container, right? And I reckon if it still smells like cumin, come in. <laughs> it's delicious. All right. So we've got that into there. Here's my other... I've got this in here. I'm just going to get that spice all underneath there. That's going to be fantastic. And we will... Oh, grab those lentils. Get them off there. There we go. And all you have to do is come along. Oh, let's move this out the way. <laughs> I forgot to put the celery in. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Luckily, I live alone. <laughs> all right. Let's pop that down in there. And instead of four to six to eight hours in your slow cooker, we're going to pop this into the microwave at 900 watts for the full 30 minutes. While that's in there, I will just wipe this bench down. All right. While that's in there, just let me show you this. I'm going to do cauliflower rice because I've got some cauliflower. We're going to put those blades straight into there. I've got this cauliflower and we will just pop that straight into there. Beautiful cauliflower. We're just going to stalk and all. Just pop that straight into there. Where's this? We'll grab some more. Pop that straight into here. Cauliflower rice is absolutely delicious. Right, I got this cauliflower on the cheap. It needs to be eaten, so we're going to eat it. And I don't want to have rice because who's got time for that? Cauliflower rice. Five pulls. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake your cauliflower rice. Cauliflower rice. See how you can have fun when you throw your hip into it? <laughs> All right, we're just doing this. And there, absolutely delicious, is our cauliflower rice. Yum o. Oh. Give me a like, give me a follow, give me a subscribe. <laughs> I need new noisemakers. If you've got any questions or suggestions, let me know. I'll post up the um, finishing product all over my book of face, my my Insta, my Tuppergram. I've got TikTok notes. I'll pop them everywhere that you can have a look at the finished product. I'm going to give us another 28 minutes and it'll be delicious. <laughs> Forget your troubles and get happy. Dance your cares away. Shout out and get happy. I'll cook for you another day. <laughs> Thank you all for watching, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.